Welcome to St. Anne's and St. Peter's uh, morning service on Easter morning. Uh, we're going to begin our service in about um, five minutes time. So uh, if you've just arrived, do, uh, do say hello. Um, it would be lovely to meet with you. Um, my name's Wendy. I'm the, the vicar of St. Anne's and St. Peter's. And uh, I'm hoping that there'll be quite a few of us joining in worship this morning. Um, what we'll be using is um, this, which is our, uh, can you see that? That's, that's our worship in isolation sheet, uh, uh, reflective service that uh, we put together at the beginning of our lockdown. You might want to uh, go, go to our website and download a copy of our newsletter which has got the words for our first hymn on. Um, but uh, we've, also, we've also got some uh, excitements in our sermon. Um, we're going to uh, be using a cup. I hope you've got your cup with you. Maybe you've got a nice bit of paper, or not such a nice bit of paper, and a pen. So things we're going to be doing. Um, has anybody opened there any Easter eggs yet? I'm just wondering. I'm wondering who's opened any Easter eggs. Um, I know Natalie's watching, and Natalie, I'm wondering whether you can tell me where do I find um, all the comments? Um, perhaps you'd let me know <laughs> so I can respond to comments. Um, I'm uh, coming to you via StreamYard, via Facebook this morning, which is amazing technology, isn't it? Um, but uh, I'm not such a, tech, a technophile that I know where everything is. So um, I'm, uh, I hope that I'll be able to see, uh, see where you're coming from. Ah, Phil Boswell, you're deferring Easter eggs till later. How very good of you. I haven't had one yet um, this morning. Um, not saying anything about earlier in the week. Um, I'm looking forward to, to a lovely Easter lunch later. I don't know what you're looking forward to. I'm hoping that uh, that you are able to have a celebratory Easter lunch. Maybe you're going to do that over Facebook Live. I don't know. So as we uh, come towards uh, 10 o'clock, do uh, grab hold of your service sheet if you manage to get one or download one there are links to these on facebook through in our um through on our website and our weekly services there um have got all the details and uh, as i was saying just a bit earlier we've got our newsletter on there as well and that's got uh the response and the first hymn on there but we'll have those up as well under the screen so my um William's family, lovely to see you. And I'm glad you've kept your Easter eggs. There's, there's something called a delayed um, gratification, isn't there, where you, you hold on and wait for something and they're even better when you have them later. Yes, happy, happy Easter, Graham. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, lovely to see you, Barbara, too. Uh, and Ian, welcome. It's lovely to have you with, with us at St Anne's online. Um, I want to say thank you to Natalie for uh, helping with all the backroom stuff this morning. She's doing a great job of making sure that I come to you live. And uh, it's lovely to be able to welcome Helen to uh, read to us later. So that's uh, great. And the Knight family have arrived. Welcome to the Knights. And Pat, good morning all. Morning. It's lovely to worship together, isn't it? How how strange the knights have eaten their eggs and their hot cross buns already well well done for that that's that's early in the morning to get all that that done i'm so looking forward to um to easter lunch with chris later and i know i'm very very blessed to uh, to be able to do that i hope you have a lovely easter so we are going to start as we come up to 10 o'clock we're going to begin with our Easter acclamation. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. 
Welcome to our Easter Sunday service for our congregation at St Anne's and St Peter's, Marsh and Micklefield, High Wycombe. If you're from further afield or if you're joining us later on Facebook, then you are particularly welcome. And we're going to start celebrating that Jesus has risen from the dead by singing a great Easter hymn together. Jesus Christ is risen today. I'm Are you able to hear the music? Because I can't hear the music. I know that there's a music file being played. Okay, let's, um, shall we try singing it together? Um, uh, if I start, perhaps you'll join in and perhaps it will work. Jesus Christ is risen today, hallelujah. Our triumphant holy day, hallelujah. Who did once upon the cross, hallelujah. Suffer to redeem our loss, hallelujah. Hymns of praise then let us sing hallelujah unto christ our heavenly king hallelujah who endured the cross and grave hallelujah sinners to redeem and save But the pains which he endured, hallelujah, our salvation have procured, hallelujah. Now in heaven he's king above, hallelujah, where the angels ever well it's always going to be a bit of an experiment using this new technology and thank you if you were able to join in with me in our service today we have some readings a, a reading from matthew's gospel and there's a link again to that uh, in Bible Gateway, Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. So do have that around. We're also going to um, think a little about sunrises. So if you've had a, a, a special sunrise that you remember, perhaps you'd like to send that in to uh, make a comment on the side of the page. But as we begin our service, as we continue, I want to pray a prayer um, and share the beginning of the Easter liturgy from the Church of England. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the awesome power of God. As we hear his word and proclaim all that God has done, we can be confident that we shall share his victory over death 
and live with him forever. And although I don't have an Easter candle, but our big Paschal candle, I have a small candle that we light to remember that Christ has been raised from the dead and is living now. May the light of Christ rising in glory banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. So we're going to take our work, our service sheet and from there we're going to take a short time in the light of Jesus to examine ourselves and to confess our sins. So we say our confession together. Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy on us. Bring us back to yourself as those who once were dead, but now have life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Father forgive you by the death of his Son and strengthen you to live in the power of the Spirit all your days. Amen. So we come now to our reading. You might want to have your cup and your piece of paper to hand. And as Helen reads it, you might like to reenact with your tomb and your stone the moment when the stone was rolled away. There was also an earthquake. So listen out for our reading now um, that Helen is going to bring us. Today's reading is taken from Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. The Resurrection of Jesus After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Helen. Shall we pray as we come to our talk? Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are alive today. And we pray that you would speak clearly into our hearts this morning. Amen. So life in lockdown. Jesus was in lockdown. This sense that behind the stone, Jesus was kept in lockdown. He couldn't see what was going on. Well, I wonder what you've been doing in lockdown. Perhaps you'd like to message me. What have you been up to? I've heard about some people who have been um, learning languages. I've heard about someone who's been learning the guitar. 
Um, and I hear that some people have been even trying to do a games evening in lockdown. So they've set up a Zoom camera and their phones and between them, they played games in lockdown. Me, I've been lucky enough to be out in the back garden. Um, and uh, we, we have been able to do quite a bit of gardening. So that's been excellent. Joy has been decorating. Well done, Joy. And uh, we, I think all of us have found things to do. But Elaine's also decorating. The thing that we want to do more than anything, though, I think, is get back outside and get back with people. And I just wonder whether that's how Jesus was feeling as well. Was he feeling locked up in that tomb? Was he feeling that he couldn't get out? I wonder. I wonder because I don't think he was. I think he was able to get out of that tomb whenever he needed to. So let's think about what happened when Jesus came out of the tomb. I think it was before the women got there. Did you notice in the reading that the tomb was opened? There was a great earthquake and the tomb was empty. Jesus wasn't in the tomb and then walked out at the moment the stone was removed. The stone was removed after Jesus had left. Hmm. So what did Jesus see? Well, he came out, I think, and it was dark. And then he saw a sunrise. Now, I wonder if you have seen some beautiful sunrises everywhere. I wonder whether um, you'd like to tell me about them and put them up on the comments. Some of the most beautiful sunrises I've seen were in Maidstone, where I lived about 25 years ago. Mm make that 35 years ago. And uh, there was a particular morning when I remember the tree silhouetted in black across this orange red sky, absolutely brilliant. I wonder whether you've seen sunrises like that and it just makes you almost want to cry, they're so gorgeous. And I wonder when Jesus has been in that darkness and that sad, dark, lonely place, and he comes out and sees the sunrise, how his heart must have thrilled. He's been separated from his friends as well. And so on that first day, he comes out and he, well, you know when you get to that moment in a really good film and there's a ta-da moment? I bet Jesus wanted to do that, really. He wanted to say, I'm back. And yet, I don't think he's that sort of Jesus. Jesus doesn't go in for the big and the flashy. The two recorded first greetings that he made to both the Marys on this occasion and Mary on her own, they were very unflashy. We read Matthew saying, Jesus said, Greetings. <laughs> it wasn't exactly ta da! <laughs> Instead, it was a kind and gentle welcome. And in another gospel, Jesus just says to um, Mary her name, Mary. So there's no fireworks. And even in our gospel reading, you might have noticed that the angel gets a much bigger write-up than Jesus. There are five verses all about the angel being in brilliant white clothes and a face like lightning. And Jesus just gets two verses. He says, greetings. And those two women bow at his feet and hold on to him. Now imagine that you've just come out of lockdown and your two, two of your closest friends come to you and well we would give each other a hug wouldn't we but these two women knelt down and held on to Jesus feet in worship 
And that's what we do as witnesses. When we recognize that Jesus is here with us, we worship him. His presence, his gentle, unflashy, kind and tender presence leads us to worship. To hold on to his feet in some, some way. But the Marys didn't just worship. They were then obedient, obedient to his word, to his command, which was go and tell my brothers to go on to Galilee. And that's what they did. And so for us, when we still think we're in lockdown and we perhaps we still feel like the, the stone is over the mouth of the tomb. We, re we recognize today that resurrection day is here. It's already upon us. Jesus is alive and he's walking with us and working through us. And every time we give a cup of water to anyone, it's as though we're giving it to him. It's not in the big flashy things that we see Jesus. It's in the small caring things. And today there will be many nurses and doctors, care home workers, delivery drivers, farmers that are all getting up, going to work, not in a big flashy way, but Christ is with them and working through them to bless the country. Jesus' resurrection day promise of eternal life was backed and guaranteed that day as he rose to life. It was witnessed by Mary, by Mary, by hundreds of others, up to 500 people, and then James and Paul, as it were, out of time, and by us. So let's enjoy the glory of his resurrection life with us. The joy of it as we respond in worship. And we are, invite others to come and meet our risen Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this resurrection day. Thank you for resurrection life unflashy but full of love and joy, fellowship and adoration and worship of you. Thank you that you have made us witnesses to your presence, no longer hidden, no longer in lockdown. Lord, fill us now again with your spirit that we may tell others this glorious good news. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to return to our service sheet. And at the bottom, we're going to affirm our faith in the Lord using some words from Paul's letter to the Philippians. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death on the cross. Therefore, God has raised him on high and given him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, Every knee should bow and every voice proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. So we turn to our prayers. During our prayer time, perhaps you would like to write uh, names of people. I think Natalie's established a precedent that we have just our, the uh, initials of those for whom you would like particular prayers this morning. They may be of those who you know who are ill, or perhaps 
people who are working today and putting themselves on the front line and in danger. Please take some time just to think and to add your prayers into the comments. So, Father, we begin our prayers. We ask you to come alongside us and hold us as we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of our love and your love for your name's sake. Amen. Father, we lift you particularly Barbara's friend H, Natalie's friends O, E and A, Matt's friend E, and Rebecca wants, uh, Jess, Jess's, uh, Rebecca's Jess wants to pray, Father, and we join our prayers with hers that her granddad doesn't get sick. Keep him well. Less P, S, A, F and M that Matt knows. And Sheila Bruce's friend and family, H. Father, all these and so many more that we know, we lift to you and ask that you would strengthen them, that you would comfort them, that you would put your arms around them. May they know your presence with them this morning. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray too for M and A and J, M C. AF and daughters, J, and for Ricky. Father, we give you thanks for all of them, for all these relationships that you have blessed us with. We ask you to keep them safe. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So we join our prayers today uh, with. We join them all together and lift them to God with the words of the Lord's Prayer, which, again, you will find on your service sheet. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So as we come to the end of our uh, time together, we have one more hymn. And uh, I think Natalie is going to give it a go to see if we can get the music to work. And if not, I'll lead you in it once again. Natalie, uh, please have a go. I know that you can't see what I can see, but I can see Natalie looking very focused and uh, I'm, I know that I can't hear anything at the moment. Um, I, I still can't. Can anybody hear this at the moment? No, it's not coming through. It's, on, it's, it's obviously um, heard on Natalie's computer, but not on anyone else's. So I think I will lead you again, if, uh, if you don't mind, and we'll sing Christ Triumphant 
ever reigning. Christ triumphant, ever reigning, Saviour, Master, King. Lord of heaven, our life sustaining, hear us as we sing. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. Christ triumphant, ever reigning, Saviour, Master, King. Lord of heaven, our life sustaining, hear us as we sing. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. Word incarnate, truth revealing, Son of man on earth. Power and majesty concealing by your humble birth. Yours the glory and the crown, the high return on the eternal name. Suffering servant, scorned, ill-treated, victim crucified. Death is through the cross defeated, sinners justified. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. Priestly King enthroned forever, high in heaven above. Sin and death and hell shall never stifle hymns of love. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. So our hearts and voices raising through the ages long. Ceaselessly upon you gazing, this shall be our song. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name. Thank you for joining in with me today. It's been so good to worship with you all. And we are now going to take our last few words from the back of our service sheet. Faithful God, may we who have shared in this time of worship glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, our salvation and hope, who reigns as Lord now and forever. Fill us, good Lord, with your spirit of love. And as you have fed us with your presence, so make us one in heart and mind, in Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. So we're going to finish now with a time of a chat. Do keep commenting. Um, grab your coffee and biscuits, your hot cross buns and your Easter eggs if you'd like. And uh, join Helen and Natalie and I as we um, end our service together. Oh, Mike, welcome. It's lovely to see you. Thank you for worshipping with us. And thank you for all your lovely comments. Um, it's been good to be together. So I'm sorry about that, folks. Um, uh, Helen, did you join in with the singing? I did. Excellent. <laughs> I was a bit worried you'd hear me. <laughs> no, I couldn't hear you, but I'm sure that would have been lovely. <laughs> and we could try one now if you want to. I think I've worked out what the technical glitch was. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> but we might just want to have a chat. <laughs> I think I think we've come to the end now. Ah, oh, Ed's created an Easter scene during the service. 
Oh, a cave of paper, Playmobil Jesus, car park and giraffe. Can you post that, Ed, on, on Facebook? It would be lovely to see it. Um, can I show you mine? Can I show you yeah, mine? Do it, do it, do it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, this is, this is my Jesus, Mary's and, and the tomb. There we go. Oh, wow. I've had such fun That's this fun. week. <laughs> I've had far too much fun this week. I should have been doing some work. This is this is Mary grasping Jesus' feet, and this is the other Mary. This Mary might have been um, Jesus' mum, looking a bit old there, grey hair. What fun! Has been great. So, Wendy, are you looking forward to your holiday next week? <sighs> yeah, um, it's going to be a holiday at home, I think. So, um, it's, it'll be a holiday away from the uh, the computer. I've decided. Okay. I'm going, take, I'm going to take. I'm going to take to the back garden. So, um, well, I like the the look. I, th I think Barbara's dressed her best. I know that some people were dressing up for Easter, um, and I'd love to see. Yeah, I'd love to see your Easter bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Natalie, you've got a Facebook um, a picture of Ed's um, Ed's uh, Easter scene. So. Maybe. I don't Gina. think I can share pictures. They don't come through on the chat, unfortunately. Okay. Otherwise, I'd love to share Ed's picture. Everyone It'll on, come up on Facebook. on Facebook, I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sheila. That's lovely. Happy Easter to you. Oh, oh. Now that sounds like a great idea. A beacon yeah. on our porch. Lovely. Brought the light into the home. You see, that's somebody doing sunrise service the way we normally do it in church. Well done, Sarah. And Alan. Great stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I hope you had. Did you have a bigger candle than mine? Mine, mine's. I mean, it's not bad, but it could be a bit, bit taller. Easter candles are normally about what two foot. Easter eggs and Easter bunnies to act double tomb and the angel. It was very realistic. <laughs> and presumably the no Jesus or or with a Jesus man. I'm not quite sure. Francis, it, it does seem strange, doesn't it? It's really odd not being able to be together. Um, it, we can we can actually get on Streamyard. We can actually get um, six people on the on the um, camera. So maybe maybe next week we can get six people up there, and then it, it almost begins to feel a bit like like church, doesn't it? That is promising something of um, Barbara. And Elaine, when I haven't trained them yet. Oh yes, yeah. Let's not say and next week. I'm moving house. I won't have any in the that week. <laughs> yeah, sometime in the future. <laughs> so uh, you've got a, a question here, Natalie and Mike. Do you recall? Um, what does Phil want? Um, oh yes, no. I definitely do recall big bonfires and some roots. Mike saying yes from next door, Phil. Lovely of you to join us. Wait a minute, yes. let's cut. He's joining in. Wait a minute. I think the most thing is, is waking up really early in the morning. Think, why am I up <laughs> quite so early? We yeah. used to go. We used to go down to um, uh, Cause End and walk up to um, St. Head Nicola St. Nicholas Hedza Church. Mm -hmm. Nice. And uh, and and then so we'd have a little service up there in the. It was not sunrise because by the time we got up there, it was seven o'clock. But then we'd come back down to Cause End URC and they would cook a lovely porridge and boiled egg breakfast for us. So there'd probably be times there was maybe 60, 70 of us trooping up to St Nicholas and then back down again. But So Sarah and Bob, are you really enjoying the NHS clapping on Thursdays? Because we've decided with our neighbours that we're going to go outside and socially distance ourselves. But um and um, bring a drink, drink and have a chat across all our fences and be apart but clap together. Um, oh, because the clothes hasn't really got chatty yet, but yesterday we had a barbecue on our driveway and our neighbours yeah. had a barbecue on their driveway <laughs> and our neighbour up the road had a blanket on the grass on her driveway. And so we all just sat outside and had lunch together and had a bit of a chat. And their little um, young young daughter has got a remote control mini that she got for her birthday, which was a couple of weeks ago, her first birthday, which was a couple of weeks ago. And we were just wondering who was enjoying it more, her or her dad. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it, yeah. Driving her around the driveway. So we were all enjoying that. 
Seems sounds like um, that sounds like a, a good first birthday present, doesn't it, for a little girl? A remote control mini. I, th I think I'd like one of those. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to go and um, go and warm up some hot cross buns now, and uh, make sure the uh, Sunday lunch is on. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful worshiping with you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and um, I'll catch up with with you again next. Hmm, don't know when I'll be back. I, next next week we're having morning prayer, aren't we? On every morning. Yes, morning prayer every morning, and um, Sunday um, morning um, there'll be a service. Possibly not using Streamlab. Possibly just Facebook Live to um, make it a bit simpler. Um, so that's uh, nine o'clock through the week morning prayer and then 10 o'clock on Sunday for our Sunday morning service. Have With a the election lovely... of Thursdays, which is 7.20 for the brave. And if you'd like to join <laughs> us for open morning prayer, which is is um, just a few of us gather on Zoom. So anybody and everybody's welcome to that as well. But it's a bit more informal, um, but you'd be very welcome. Just ping me if you're interested and I'll make sure you get the details. I'll say goodbye. Happy Easter to everyone. Bye. Happy Easter. Bye. Happy Easter. Bye. Bye.